Hi folks, in our last tutorial, I showed you how you can combine Shopify flow with TimeSack and create a flow where if a product variant um, goes out of stock, you can trigger Shopify flow to add a tag to the product in Shopify and the tag in turn will trigger TimeSack to add that product into the app. In our case, it was a back order with 20% off. So this was like the original workflow we created. This was our product. Notice how it has my back order tag and this product was added into the app because this one variant here was um, uh, lacking inventory, right? But now, what if we want to go one step further and in case we fully restock an item, so if all variants are back in stock, we can remove it from the app automatically and also remove the tags that in turn create all the automations. Well, we can do that by creating a new workflow besides our original one in Shopify Flow. And first we want to select a trigger. And the trigger could be the fact that a uh, product, let's see here, a product variant inventory has changed, right? Because when we restock that inventory amount is going to change, right? And then we want to add a condition where we would like to check if uh, all the variants actually have stock. So from here, I can go to product. And if I scroll down here, I'm going to have the has out of stock variants, which I can select. And we want to make sure that this value is equal to false, OK? Because we don't want products uh, variants to be sold out. We actually want to make sure that they do have stock so as for all the proper conditions to be met. OK. And now, finally, we want to um, add an action. And that action, as you may have guessed, will be that we would want to remove the tags that we ordered. So we're going to say remove. Uh, and I think we had it there. Remove product tags, right? And we want to make sure that we will be removing the backorder tag. OK, once this workflow is done, we can turn it on. OK. And after we give uh, Shopify a while to update this, we can go back into our product. Notice how this one variant is out of stock. So the second condition is not true yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to replenish inventory and make it equal to one. And now this product is back in stock in all variants. And this should trigger the automation behind the scenes so that this back order tag is removed. And let's see if that's going to happen now might take a refresh or a second or two for it all to work. But notice now it's gone. And I'm expecting that if I go into Ties Act, there you go. We have no more products because the, um, the item is now fully stocked. So in creating these uh, two workflows, we now have it perfectly set up. So if anything ever goes out of stock, we make sure we add everything into the app. And if it's fully back in stock, then everything is removed. All of it done automatically, and I don't need to go into the app to make any more changes. Thank you.